when working with web development, it's very normal we have to send um, a great amount of data from client to the server. And sometimes this data is not possible to be sent by GET or POST using the normal um, form submission format. We have to send data using the body of the HTTP requests. So, in this video, we are going to see how we can use this body of the HTTP requests and how to receive that through our Node Express server. And we are going to see that it varies according to the type of the data we are sending. So, in this video, we are going to see two examples. How to send data based in the standard form encoding, that is similar for when we are working field by field, like web forms, and how to send a set of data is structured in the JSON format. So we can send a huge JSON object in the HTTP body. So how to use that here in the backend programming? Basically, we have the express model, and you have to have one body parser object. And this body parser is different depending on what kind of body we are going to process. Here we are using two examples. We create one JSON object for being the JSON parser and another URL encoded parser. So when we, we are going to have one service that will receive URL encoded, we are going to use this parser. And when we are going to receive a JSON content, we are going to use this parser. It's important to understand that it's not mandatory parameter for the post uh, method or when we are defining our roads, but it's necessary to use the body attribute. This body attribute, it will be undefined when we don't have this parser. So even the client sending the body in the in this package content, it will be ignored by Express. So for we have access to that, we have to inform the parser of the body. So once we have informed the parser, if the parser uh, is able to pass the content we are receiving, this content will be available through the body object. So in this case, we are working in the uh, form URL encoded, so we can access each of the fields individually. And when we are using JSON, we can access the, the full um, JSON content inside the body attribute. Okay, and I will send a, a feedback to user with a success message. Now let's take a look how to use that. Let's start with the JSON. As we are working with post method, it's not possible to test through web browsers. We are going to use the, um, the Postman client to help us in our tests. So here we have one example with JSON. So how we do that? We have to come here to this body tab, inform it's a raw content, and this raw content will be structured using the one JSON string. So here we have just one simple example, which could be a complex JSON object with a lot of eight boots, arrays, and another object here, no, no problem. And we can send that to server clicking in this button. Send that, we can take a look here in our server, look what was printed just now. Data post were received, and the content. So if you change that for something here, like um, name, and here we can from the name of the person that's making this request. And we can also, for instance, make some programming here. We can say, hmm, I want to have access to this JSON object. So we can create here one object using the JSON dot pass to, to convert the string in one JSON object. And here we can access. What's your name? We can ask to, to this object. What's your name? And then the object could say to me, object.name, because, because we have the name attribute here. So let's do a new test. I have just to stop the server and start it again. So let's run that. And now let's do another submission. And let's see how this JSON object will behave. So, sending that, it was sent. Let's take a look here. JSON body. Okay, the, the, the JSON body is here. It just has not printed 
uh, the name as I have expected. I have no idea exactly why. Maybe because it's already is one one JSON object. Maybe I don't need the the parse. Maybe we can just use the object itself. Let's take a look here together. We clear that. We stop this service. We start it again. And now let's see how it will behave. Send and hmm. ah, we forgot to use console.log here. Let's try again. Stop that. Running that again. Let's take a look here. A new request send. What are going to, we are going to see? Ah, now it's okay. Now we have access to the name perfectly. So we can see that this body, because we have the parser, already was converted to an object, a JSON object. It's not just a string. It already is a JSON object. So here we have the JSON object. Now let's see the, another example where we can send the request as form fields. So how we can test that? Basically, we can come here to this form submission. And please observe, we can have get parameters and we can have post parameters. And this post parameter is not standard form data. It's sent as form encoded data which is, is going directly in the body of the HTTP request. So we have three parameters here. This parameter get, the parameter A, and parameter B with their respective values. Let's just prepare. Here our console is cleared. And let's make a new submission to our server to this URL. Sending that. What we have received. Please observe. Using the carry attribute of the request object, we have here the content sent by URL. The body has all the fields and we can access each field individually, just accessing through their name. So it's very easy to receive data through posts being directly written in the body of the request. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. This code is available below at the video description. If you have any doubt about this tema, you could write down in the comments. And thank you for watching.